Now that you've set up your new password for Office 365, it's time to get started using OneNote. So what you're going to do, if you logged out of Office 365, you're going to log back in. And just remember that this is the URL for Office 365. You may want to bookmark this so that it's easier to access in the future. And you're going to log in with your username, which again is an email address, a new email address set up for you. Just remember it's not the same as your school one. And then the new password that you created in the previous session and you're going to click sign in. If you don't want to have to type in this long username every time you work on this, you can click keep me signed in. And again, if you're this will only hold if you're working on the same computer consistently. And then we click sign in. And when you sign in, it'll land you on this page with all the different tools that are available to you. For those of you who have been using Office 365 for the past year, if you want to land on this page every time you log in because it does give you quick access to all the different tools, here's a little quick tip. Click on this cogwheel in the upper right hand corner. Click on Office 365 settings. On the left hand side, click on Start Page and this is going to change where you land. So if you want to land on the page that I was just showing you, click on Office 365 home page. This is something new that they added, which is why users from last year may not be landing on the same page. So you click on that click save and then if you click on the office 365 logo at the upper left hand side which brings you back home you should land on this page now we are going to be starting with OneNote online however we're not going to click on OneNote online we're actually going to go into OneDrive the reason we're going into OneDrive is for those of you who are new the first time you click on any of these tools here, it's going to have to set up OneDrive and it's going to go through this whole setup process and I want everybody to land on the same place. So click on OneDrive and again, those of you who are brand new, what it's going to do is it's going to go through a setup process. It's going to set up OneDrive for you and OneDrive is essentially just an area that's going to store all of your documents or notebooks that you create. So click on OneDrive and you should get a message somewhere over here that says, just wait a minute, we're setting things up for you. It should take about 30 seconds to a minute for it to set up. Once it's all set up, there'll be a little link that says we're ready for you and you can click on that and it should bring you to a screen that looks similar to this, except your OneDrive area is not going to have any documents in it. Once you've arrived at a screen that looks similar to this, now we're ready to start OneNote. Click on New click on OneNote Notebook. What it's asking us to do now is to name our notebook. This is where you have to decide what kind of notebook do you want to create for this class. Do you just want to do some kind of practice notebook? Do you want to actually start creating a real notebook that you're going to use? It could be for school, it could be for your own personal life. Totally up to you. So come up with a name for your notebook and you can always change the name later. I'm going to call this my Technology Training Notebook and I'm going to click OK. So it'll take a few seconds to load and now we are in the online version of OneNote. And again the reason we're doing this is because we want our OneNote notebook to be stored in Office 365 in your little OneDrive so that you'll have access to it anywhere. So if you go on vacation into Tahiti you want to access your notebook so anywhere you have web access you'll be able to access it. However, for the purpose of this course, we're going to use the very full version of OneNote, not this online version, because all the tools that you need to learn how to use are actually not available in the online version. You're a little bit limited to just basic formatting in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Open in OneNote. When you click on Open in OneNote, it's going to ask you, depending on what type of browser you're using, whether to, to launch the application or you might even have to choose micro, uh, Microsoft OneNote. You might get a little pop-up that says OneNote on it. And then I'm going to click Remember My Choice for this because I want this to always happen. And I'm going to click Launch Application. Again, if you're on a computer that doesn't have the full version of OneNote installed, you're going to run into a big snag here. It's not going to actually open it. So now I am in OneNote. I have my full version of OneNote open here. You can see over here, here's the title of my notebook. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to give you some basic navigation of what this screen is all about. So stay tuned.